obstacles throughout the southeast. One of their murders was caught on tape, and you're going to see it tonight for the first time ever. I warn you, it's a very brutal moment, but this is a brutal gang. Tonight, one of their members will risk his life to tell you their secrets. John Turchin has the story. You mess with his crew, you whack anybody in his crew, he whacks you or gets you whacked. They're brazen, they'll, they'll shoot anybody, anywhere. It has really ruined my life. It's a deadly battle over a multi-million dollar drug trade, and it's strangling Miami's most embattled neighborhoods. There's no uh, consideration for life. They want to make a point um, that uh, they're in charge. They, they're not afraid to push somebody out of an area, and uh, that's what they'll do. Police say Miami drug gangs armed with AK-47 assault rifles mark their territory with grisly effect. They're responsible for hundreds of gruesome murders and shootings since 1992. Living by the law of the street, take or be taken, no one in the community is immune. Innocent bystanders, beware. Investigators say most of the violence can be attributed to the Booby Boys, a ruthless gang named after Kenneth Booby Williams. This former gang member would only talk to us anonymously. People fear him. He's a murderer. He's a killer. He don't play. Booby Williams has apparently always been that way. The 27-year-old with the laughable street name Booby grew up mean, in serious trouble since he was a teenager. He went to jail as a juvenile for a homicide case. Um, after getting out of that, uh, doing time for that homicide, he set up business by uh, virtually doing uh, drug rip-offs and, and burglaries and any way else he could make money. His rise to drug lord, police say, was methodical, muscling in on other dealers' territory. His motivation? Cold, hard cash. Does he always want to take over whatever operation is going in any nearby town? No, his whole thing is that it was money, though. It's money for everybody. Now, if you don't want to let me get none of that money, I'll move you out. Move you out, cops say, often meant a rub-out for those who wouldn't go quietly. Kenneth Williams and his group is responsible for 30-plus homicides and well over 100 non-critical shootings in Dade County alone. 99 bullet casings at one scene, 46 at another. Startling evidence of the Booby Boy's muscle was recorded on surveillance tape at a local convenience store. One of Booby's lieutenants uh, wanted to sell out of that store. The group already selling drugs there let the booby boys in, but sales were slow. So police say two hitmen, twin brothers Leonard and Leonard Brown, were sent in to eliminate the other group and send a message from Williams. Their whole task was to shoot this person. It's like when you shoot somebody up, kill somebody, NK kill somebody, it's like you got a reward. Cops say the gang doesn't care who's nearby. Watch as one of the suspects chases someone down the street, firing as he runs. One didn't have to be involved in the drug trade to become a victim. November 1992, Ruth Russell and her boyfriend, Leon Ferguson, returned to Leon's home late one night to discover the front door open. Mr. Ferguson immediately dragged into the driveway, jumped out of the car, and I immediately followed him. Upon entering the house, there were gunshots. I came through the door. Next thing I knew, I got shot, and it was like a burning sensation. That was the first of many shots to come. They describe it as a war zone. They were surrounded. Shooters at the front of the house, more gunfire coming from the back. Mr. Ferguson is a Vietnam vet. His instincts were to hit the ground. Miss Russell's to find a way to survive. Just lying there and hearing the bullets, it was something like out of the movies to Wild Wild West. Ruth and Leon got caught in the crossfire of a drug ripoff, and police suspect Williams was involved. There were approximately six bullets that struck me in the right leg, and there were two others in the left leg. How bad were the injuries? The right leg had, had to be amputated because of the main artery being damaged. It has really ruined my life. The weapon that took her leg was an AK-47, the gang's weapon of choice. Miami-Dade police showed us its power. 
That steel plate is three times as thick as a car door. But the most remarkable test is done with ballistic gelatin, an item that attempts to replicate body mass. The effect is devastating. It would be total destruction from start to finish as the round passes through the victim. Uh, all of this in here that you see represents trauma that the round, uh, the energy of the round leaves in, in within the body. Uh, this, in other words, would uh, pulverize you. And that's exactly what police say happened to five-year-old Michael Frazier. Cops say Michael was sitting on his mother's lap in her boyfriend's car when the booby boys opened fire on the boyfriend. All three were gunned down. You got that motto, if you, if you, if you roll over, you ride on them, you whack anybody in this crew, you mess with anybody in this crew, you have a problem. Does Booby ever go out there and do any of the shootings himself? Yeah. Everybody's focusing on the murders, murders that he's been involved in shooting. Oh, but these guys are bringing in tons of drugs in, in from overseas. What kind of money does this guy make? He touches maybe like a hundred, two, three hundred thousand a month. Police say Kenneth Williams' multi-million dollar drug web now extends north through just about every city in Florida. Into Georgia, through the Carolinas, into Virginia, and as far north as Detroit. They also believe he's moving west into Las Vegas. Local police formed a task force last February to put a stop to the violence. They realized that many of the crimes involving unstoppable firepower were connected. Nearly always, there was a tie to Kenneth Williams and the Booby Boys. Now most gang members are either dead or in custody. But Kenneth Williams is on the run. He's believed to be splitting time between Atlanta, the Bahamas, and Miami. And agents say he likes to go to big boxing matches in Las Vegas. Take a close look at this picture. Police are also looking for one of his chief hitmen, Leonard Bo Brown. If you've seen either of these men, call 1-800-PRIME-TV.